That's the one coming in from the man named Scrunter out of Trinidad and Tobago. The name of the song is Anita, released in 1990. <laughs> Old school, way back. Yeah. All right, now briefly for non Trinidadian viewers, this song is in the genre of what's called Soka Paran. This is a traditional style of Christmas music in Trinidad and Tobago. And it combines the genres of soca and parang. Parang comes from the Spanish word paranda, which is slang for party. And it is traditional folk music originating from Venezuela, which is just a few miles off the west coast of Trinidad. So this particular song is a combination of those two genres. And you can find an original recording of it on YouTube if you just type in the name of the singer and the song which are in the title of this video as well and the little demonstration at the beginning of the video um, those are not the actual exact lyrics of the song in fact the first few lines I just made up <laughs> right but it does demonstrate the general melody for the main parts of the song now from what I could hear it appears the original recording seems to be in the key of B so the chords if you want to play along with the original recording would actually be B as in boy to E to F sharp back to E right and you can play that up here on the second fret or you could play it down here on the seventh fret B E F sharp back to E right now the sound that you're gonna get from playing it down here will be closer to what you would actually hear in a recorded parang song or if you were hearing it live typically in this style of music you fr from the stringed instruments the guitar and then we also play um, a, a ukulele or as we say in Trinidad a quattro uh, the sound emanating from both instruments is typically a uh, higher pitch so that's why you'll find this sound down here <laughs> This would sound more like what you would hear in a recording, as opposed to up here, where the pitch is a little lower, right? So for this style of music, bar chords are usually preferred because the rhythm also is very percussive. So when you have a rhythm like that, you usually don't want open strings ringing up, especially, especially if you're playing in an ensemble group with other instruments, right? So if you're comfortable with the bar chords, you can definitely play it that way. It's going to be a little more challenging. It depends on how skilled you are. If you're not that versatile at bar chords as yet, then you can use the progression that I did at the beginning of the video, which just uses open chords. And in that case, the progression would be A to D to E and then back to D. And then that would repeat. So your three chords this time would be A, D and E. And the sequence would be A to D to E back to D and then you would just repeat that in a cycle for the entire song and our chord timing would be two beats per chord. 
Yeah. I say, Anita, I, 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 baby, what you want for Christmas? Darling, what you want for New Year's? I said, Anita, I, 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 me chiquitita, oi, 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 I know you don't like too much fuss. Right? And you would just uh, play that for two beats, of course, in the uh, actual recorded version. Or when you're playing, generally, it's uh, at a much faster tempo. But that's the basic foundation for you. Now, a few main advantages using this variation would be, first, it's in a lower pitch from the original recording. And that might make it a little easier to sing, depending on your voice. Second, uh, you're using because you're using open chords, those are typically easier for beginners or beginners just transitioning into an intermediate level, and then even easier sometimes for intermediate players as well. All right, and then third, for me personally, I prefer uh, open chords if it's just me and the guitar, because then I do want more sound emanating from the guitar, and the open bass notes and open chords would make up for the lack of any other instruments that would otherwise provide a bass line. And then finally, even if you did want to play in the original key, but not use bar chords, you could put a capo on the second fret, right? And this would put you into the key of the original recording using the ADE progression. <laughs> D, right? This does put you in the original recording of the song. So those are a few advantages of using the open chord variation that I used at the beginning of the video. Now, I classified this as intermediate level even if you are using open chords because of how fast paced and high tempo the rhythm is. You have rapid chord transitions and fast strumming which always makes it more challenging. So the strumming pattern I use here, and this is not necessarily a, a parang strum because, I mean, I don't have much experience playing parang, it's just what mm -hmm. I use. And that is a down, up, down, up, down. So the down, up is, is quick, and then you have a down, up, down. So it's... Remember, always practice your strumming patterns super slow until you can get the timing and the transitions and then eventually you build up your speed. So, do it again. This is probably the most challenging part of this song and this style of music.
<laughs> right? So just remember, <laughs> start out slowly and then you build up into your speed, you can catch all the vibes, right? Always practice your strumming pattern slowly first, build up to the speed eventually. All right, so that's it. To summarize, the original chord progression, again, is the original recording would be B, E, F sharp, back to E. You could play it down here as well on the seventh fret. B, E, F sharp, back to E. If you want to modify it for the open chords, play a pitch, slightly lower pitch. E, D, E, back to D. If you want to play in the key of the song, play along with a uh, recording on, and you can find on YouTube, put a capo on the second fret and you jam. Two beats per chord, practice the strumming pattern, you're bad in the dance, right? Shout out to Satyan S and Kristen Luke for leaving the comments suggesting to do some parang, which I actually was not planning to do due to my limited experience playing parang, but I hope this is helpful for you. If you're feeling the vibes, jam the like and subscribe, leave a comment, ring the bell for the most vibes we move in. Forward, ever, backward, never. Blessings and respect. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, feliz Navidad y prospero año nuevo. <laughs> Buena suerte. Hasta luego.